Mending our nets. I really believe today as a society, we have got to the point where C.S. Lewis described it in his book, The Devil's Screwtape, as a kingdom of noise. What does that mean? It is a noise that is not only external with the amount of news we've been bombarded with, our social media feeds, people trying to get hold of us on our phones, but also an internal noise where we are anxious, where we're thinking about things, we're planning things. Our lives are just one big noise at the moment. And we've got to realize that this noise is causing our nets to be destroyed, to break under pressure. And so we have to learn from the very best that Jesus was also surrounded by a lot of noise. People were hounding him. The disciples were always questioning him, trying to figure out what was going on. But Jesus learned how to mend his nets. And we see this in a few examples together. Let's look at Matthew 14 verse 13. Now when Jesus heard about John, he withdrew from there in a boat to a secluded place by himself. And when the people heard of this, they followed him on foot from the cities. In Matthew 1 verse 35, it says, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. And finally, in Luke 6 verse 12, One day soon afterward, Jesus went up on a mountain to pray, and he prayed to God all night. Here we see the secret to mending our nets when we are surrounded by noise, and that is to go and be by yourself and be quiet. If Jesus had to do it, how much more do we have to do it in order to mend our nets? So my encouragement to you today is switch off the noise. Take time out. Go and spend time with your Father. And let's remember one of our favorite scriptures, found in Psalm 46 verse 10, let be and be still and know, recognize and understand that I am God. Go and be still today. Go and just know he's with you. Go and spend time with him. Be still and mend your nets. Always remember you are highly favored and deeply loved. Mm -hmm.